So can you get rich from online poker? That is the question. Well, here's the thing, guys. There's so much variance in poker. And what I mean by that is you might be crushing it one week or maybe for a couple of weeks or even maybe for a couple of months. And then you're just going to go on a bad run. And these bad runs can last, you know, and they do affect you mentally. You know, for example, um, overall, I've been very profitable over the last few years, you know, playing online poker. But there have been stretches where I've lost thousands, you know, and I just kind of play through it. And I understand it's part of the game. The thing is, I don't get emotional. I don't just lose my entire bankroll when I take bad beats. I usually just quit for the day. And I think that's the best thing to do. Now, as I'm getting more into this topic, I will be breaking down a few hands here on Bovada Poker. And of course, if you guys are, you know, looking for any kind of like poker resources or want to get in our poker newsletter, I'll have some links in the description. But, um, you know, I play three or four times a week. Every time I play, it's between an hour to an hour and a half at a time. I usually don't play for stretches longer than that because I like to take a break, refresh, and I've just found that strategy to work really well for me as far as being more profitable. And I never play more than two tables at a time. And I always say that if you're playing, you know, the right stakes, then you can make a decent amount of money. Uh, you know, unless you're playing really small games, which I don't recommend. I really recommend starting at the $200 games. If you want to do 100 that's fine too. But I think 200 is probably the sweet spot. Two tabling at a time, you can make a decent amount of money, you know, over the course of a month. I found you can make anywhere from like two to $5,000 playing these stakes um, without, you know, playing a ton. Now, this first hand we got extremely lucky on. I'm not going to deny that fact. So <laughs> I uh, I was just trying to put pressure on that guy. Just got really lucky, and I didn't put him on a big hand. I thought I could get him off it, to be honest with you. Now, keep in mind, I'd been sitting at this table for a while. Me and that guy were kind of going back and forth, you know. So I was just, you know, going with my gut there, and he got unlucky. And that's one of those things, man. It just happens, you know. And for that guy... He left the table and you could see that he's probably just going to take a break, you know, for the rest of the day or just quit. And that's what you got to do. You know, you, you if you cannot handle the variance of poker, how do you expect to make a decent amount of money from it or get rich? You know, I've been playing for 15 years and I haven't gotten rich from online poker, but I play because I love it. You know, I play in the occasional tournaments. Um, you know, I'm thinking about playing in the uh, America's Card Room's got a big one. They do the Venom tournament. I think this year, the one coming up is for $5 million, but they do like a $10 million tournament, which is pretty crazy. Uh, America's Card Room is available worldwide too, so you can play it wherever. But, um, you know, I I will be playing in, uh, you know, the Venom tournaments for sure going forward. They are really fun. You got to beat a lot of people, but those are the those are the fun tournaments to play in. And you could strike it big, obviously, if you win in that. You're getting a really good payout, you know what I mean? So... It's always fun to, to do that kind of thing. But, uh, but yeah, that Jack-10 hand uh, was pretty ridiculous. If you guys want to chime in about this topic, um, you know, feel free to do that below in the comments. I just, you know, I want to hear your poker experience. I know a lot of people are always like, online poker is rigged and whatnot. But the truth is, you're just dealing with variance a lot of the time. And, you know, some people don't understand that. It's just something that's part of the game and it's, it can be brutal, you know. I, I believe me, I know. I've, I had a hand not too long ago where I was playing a thousand dollar cash game. I was just playing one table at a time. I got it all in with Pocket Kings pre flop, so we were. I think I had about nine hundred and fifty bucks. I shoved all in. Uh, this guy called me. He had about the same stack as me. It was a thousand dollar buy in. I think he had maybe like a thousand fifty. He basically insta called me with pocket jacks. So <laughs> I'm all in with Kings pre flop. This guy insta calls me with jacks and he hits a jack on the flop. Do you know how brutal that is to lose a thousand bucks with Kings going all in pre flop to jacks? It's just, it's just one of those things, man. It, it, it's very, it's very, it can be very brutal and it can definitely affect you emotionally <clears throat> if you don't know how to, to handle it. And I've been playing long enough and it takes experience to get good at understanding how to handle that. It's, it's not easy. It's never easy, but you do, you do understand it's part of the game the longer you play and you learn to quit, you know, for the day. 
this hand I slow played pocket queens. It was pretty ridiculous. I feel like I get the max value out of this. Now check out this river card coming up. Unbelievable. So we hit quads, which was insane. So <laughs> I didn't really know what to bet on this because I slow played the hand so much. And, uh, you know, I, I think I bet around like 20 bucks. I felt like this is probably the most I was going to get on this hand. This guy was in the small blind to begin with. So, and uh, yeah, so I mean, slow playing pocket queens right there, mixing it up a little bit. I do think slow playing can work in certain spots. Obviously, you don't want to be doing it all the time, but I think if you mix it into your play, it can work out pretty well. Uh, I found that to be the case. You know, I typically will limp in early position with low pocket pairs or mid pocket pairs, you know, especially in these short handed cash games. I could raise, but I found that I get three bet a lot more, so I do limp in quite a bit. I feel like that has been the more profitable play for me personally, but you might have a different experience with it. All right, anyways, we had like a jack king here i think i just gave this one up but you know um hope you guys enjoyed a few more hands i just wanted to talk about this a little bit you know getting rich from online poker might sound like a pipe dream because honestly not a lot of people are equipped to deal with the variance you're gonna you know have to go through uh i think your best bet if you can't you know playing in big tournaments is always fun uh but if you want to like win long term they're just a lot of things you got to get good at and uh yeah and i'll obviously be talking more about that on the channel as time goes along okay anyways hope you guys enjoyed this one uh tap that like subscribe to the channel for more poker content we'll see you in the next poker video